The fact that different kinds of foods can be good for our health has been known for thousands of years. For example, the Egyptians discovered that you could cure night blindness, a disease caused by a lack of vitamin A, by giving the patient a good portion of liver. Scurvy was a big problem in the Middle Ages for seafarers. Many died of the disease on the long voyages across the oceans. It wasn't until the mid-18th century that the famous Captain Cook and others found out that vegetables, fresh fruit, and lemon juice have a preventive effect against scurvy due to the large content of vitamin C. However, it wasn't until the 20th century that we really became aware of how essential to our healthy lives and well-being vitamins really are. And it is indeed from this time that expressions such as vitamin injection or getting a shot of vitamins comes from. Ouch! What are vitamins exactly? Well, there are a total of 13 types of vitamins, A, C, D, E, K, and eight different B vitamins. Each vitamin plays a role in our body, where vitamins help the body to convert sugar, fats, and protein so we can live a good life. For example, vitamin A keeps the skin clean and smooth. Vitamin C helps to prevent us catching a cold so easily. And vitamin D, which we get with help from the sun's rays, helps us to avoid fatigue and weak bones. Luckily, the necessary vitamins are naturally found in our food, and our body absorbs them automatically when you eat a healthy and balanced diet. At times, it may be a good idea to supplement with a vitamin pill. For example, to get enough vitamin D in winter, or if your diet has been too repetitive for a while. One of the things that we have become really good at today is to isolate vitamins from various raw materials, as well as to copy vitamins found in nature. It is really useful because it means that we can make blends of vitamins to suit very specific needs with the right concentration and the right relationships. These blends of vitamins are important, for example, in hospitals, where they can be added to tube-feeding formulae food to suit the individual patient. It almost goes without saying that vitamins are particularly important to have when you are sick. In some cases, it may even mean the difference between life and death. So vitamins are a serious business. We simply can't live without them, hence their name, vitamins. It comes from the Latin vita, meaning, yes, quite right, life. So, now we've become a little wiser from this little vitamin injection.